today I'm going to show you how to finish a pot holder. I know a lot of people get down to this last part and they're like, oh no, I can't remember how to take it off. So I have one that I've already woven here with little loopers, these little guys here. And we sell these in the shop. So you can buy them in a bulk pack. You can also buy looms that come with them. You can get a three loom set and get some loopers with that. So there's a lot of options for you. So what we're gonna do is just start by taking a crochet hook and I'm using a size I, but I'd say you could use G, H, I. You don't wanna get too much bigger than an I hook because then it starts to get, it's hard to maneuver it. But I don't use those big long metal like uh, bent metal hooks. I find those to be very cumbersome and just not very useful. So I go with the crochet hook. I just start in a corner. Now, if you have a particular color on your loom that you're like, oh, I really want that to be my loop that I hang my pot holder from, or just the loop that you wanna have hanging off, you can pick a color. So if I wanted my end one to be green, I would do that one last. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and just start in the next loop over from that. And I remove one loop with my hook, remove the next loop, pull it through the first. And I'm just gonna continue to do that all the way around. So I'm just pulling up a loop, pulling it right through. So each time you pick up a loop, you're pulling it through the one on your hook. And just do that all the way around. Now, if you didn't want to use a hook or you didn't have a hook, you can, it is possible to do this without anything. It's just going to be slower. So you just pull it through. And again, some people prefer to work completely with their hands, but as you can see, that is slower. So I think it just makes it a little bit easier if you do use a crochet hook. I use, I also have some plastic crochet hooks and honestly on this loom, I actually tend to prefer the, sm the plastic ones because they're just a little bit easier to maneuver. Like I can, the plastic, the same size is a tad bit smaller. So I sometimes will use a plastic hook too. Either one will work. And this loom is the smallest in the set of Craft Sanity narrow spaced looms. This is from the three loom set. You can also buy it individually. Okay, so now I'm down to the last two. So I'm going to pick this last one up and I can move my loom out of the way. And so you're going to pull that last loop through. And technically, you can just call it good, but I think that's leaving a bit too much to chance. And I, I don't like to leave things to chance if I can help it. So what I will do is pull this through. So it's I pulled it through once. I'll go down here, hook the loop. So I've kind of gone through that first loop again, and I will hook the loop and pull it through again. Okay, I'm gonna back up and show you what I did again here. So you're down to the last two loops, go through that last one, pull it through, and then I unhook it, go down through that first one again, pull it around and through, and then I just pull that down it tight there. So that's not going to go anywhere. And if you throw it in the wash, you know, the coaster, or someone spills something on it and you want to wash it, or even if someone didn't spill anything on it, you just want to wash it, you can throw that in the wash and it's not going to come undone. So that's, that's pretty secure. Now, if you didn't secure it that way, there's a good chance it could come undone. One of the other things I do when I take a, uh, my weaving off the loom is I'll usually like pull the corners here, just give it a little tug and things settled pretty quickly there, pretty easily. And this, I used uh, traditional size loopers on this narrow spaced Craft Sanity Coaster Loom. So as you can see, the finished piece is basically the size of the inside of, of that loom. Okay, so this is what you end up with. Finishing it off is pretty easy. I do recommend using the crochet hook for that. I weave with my fingers, but I do my finishing techniques with a crochet hook. So if you have questions, you can email me, jennifer at craftsanity.com or leave a comment below, and I'm happy to help you out. Happy weaving.